got a question from a viewer on how to match names on two different spreadsheets in Excel. I'm going to show you a way that you can do this using VLOOKUP. All right, let's say that we have a master database here or a list of names of, say, all of our employees. And let's say that we have a different spreadsheet that we're tracking where we have a list of people who have completed a certain task or assignment and we're tracking that. But we want to see out of all of the other employees, we want to match the names on these two different spreadsheets so we can see who is still left that needs to complete this task. So one thing that we can do is check our spreadsheets. If the spreadsheets have a common reference, meaning if there's an employee ID number or a unique identifier that we can use in the first column of each spreadsheet, then we'll be able to use VLOOKUP to match those names. So both spreadsheets have to have the same unique identifier for each person. So in this example, we have an employee ID for each person, so we're going to be able to do this using VLOOKUP. Let's go back to our main database of all employee names and let's create a new column where we're going to pull in the matched name. I'm going to select a column and right click to insert. So now we have a blank column and we're going to say matched name. And I'm going to make this a different color just so that it's easy to see that this is the column that we're pulling in from the other spreadsheet for VLOOKUP to match up. So now all I have to do is come up to the formulas tab. If you've recently used VLOOKUP, it might be under your recently used formulas menu here. Otherwise, come over here to the lookup and reference and then scroll down and select VLOOKUP. From here, we're going to select uh, the lookup value, and this is going to be, we're going to put A2 here. And remember, as long as that unique identifier is in the first column of both spreadsheets, we can put cell A2 as our lookup value. And then the table array is going to be the entire spreadsheet of the other spreadsheet that we want to look up against. So we're going to actually come back down and select that spreadsheet. We're going to, we can select the top row of that spreadsheet and click Control Shift Down button. That'll select the entire spreadsheet of the other tracker spreadsheet that we're using. And then the column index number is the counted number of columns over of the column of data that you want to pull into the other spreadsheet. So for example, I want to pull in the first name into my master spreadsheet list. So the first name on this um, spreadsheet, on that other spreadsheet, happens to be in column B. That's the second column over, so I'm going to put 2 as my column index number. And then for the range lookup, I'm going to type false because I want it to um, find an exact match. So I'm going to click OK. And so from here, what we can do is now double click and it will copy down that formula all the way down the spreadsheet. And now we can see that there are some names that are populated on this spreadsheet. So all of the names that are on that other spreadsheet, the spreadsheet of the folks who have completed the task, are showing up here as a matched name. And all of the other columns have a hashtag NA because the formula could not find a match and so there's nothing to put there. So if we needed to, we can you know you can scroll down and see that throughout the spreadsheet the names of the people who have already completed the task are going to pop in. So now what we can do is select our entire spreadsheet, come up to our data tab, and click on filter. And now we can actually filter on this column, and we can see all of the people from our other spreadsheet who have completed the task, and then all the people who have not. So if we, can, if we want to unselect everybody and just look at the NAs, now we'll have a list of all the people who are outstanding who still need to complete the task. So this is one way that you can use VLOOKUP to match names on two different spreadsheets. Now, let's say that you don't have a unique ID um, that you could use as a reference lookup. What you can do is see if there's anything on that spreadsheet, any columns of data that you can use to create a unique ID. And you would need to be able to create that exact same unique ID on both spreadsheets. So one example would be if you had a work email address. 
uh, you could, and you knew that before the ampersand of that email address, the user ID was a unique ID. It would be different for each user. You could actually create a unique ID column of that user ID. And the way to do that would be using text to columns. So you could select that column, right click, insert, and I'm going to insert another column to the right here. I'm going to copy and paste. So now what I'm going to do, I've created a copied column of the email address and an extra column where we can split out the data after the ampersand using text to columns. So now I'm going to highlight the uh, column of the email addresses that I want to split out and just get the user ID, the first part of that email address. I'm going to come up to my data tab again, use text to columns, and we're going to use the delimited feature. Click next. And in here, we're going to click other and type the at symbol. And notice in the data preview that it's going to split out that user ID. So the user ID is the part of the email address before the at symbol and then the rest of the email address. So we'll click next and finish. And we're going to click OK because it's OK to replace this column with that information. So now I'm going to go ahead and delete this data here. And now we have a new column that is the user ID. And so this could be a unique identifier that you could then place at, as the first column of, your, of each spreadsheet. And I'm going to insert that. And as long as that unique ID is the same on both spreadsheets, you can continue to use VLOOKUP. Um, if you don't have something like that that you could use, you can also look at creating a concatenated field where a unique ID could be a combination of a few things. It might be the combination of someone's user ID plus their zip code and date of birth. And in order to do that, what you could do is create a new column and use concat. You would say equal concat comma, and then select the cell, comma, the next cell, comma, and then the next cell that you're going to use. For a unique identifier, close the parentheses and hit enter. And this creates a very unique identifier for each person. So this is another way that if you needed to, you could then copy that down, you would um, right click to copy and then you would right click to paste special and values and this is a very unique identifier that if you could do the exact same thing on the other spreadsheet if the other spreadsheet had the same data elements you'd be able to create that unique identifier for both spreadsheets and then be able to use VLOOKUP to match them. If you found this video helpful, be sure and give it a thumbs up to like it. You can subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com. Thanks for watching.